Okay, I, I just want to welcome everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, I believe that you had a nice week. Okay, first, before we start, I want to ask you about the project I gave you last week. Okay. Were you able to do something about it? Did you do it? I think I gave you like three tasks, right? Or two tasks. So the first one is I, want, I wanted you to make your wish list, like which are your goals, okay? And I taught you how to make goals. And the second one was to prepare your contact list. So who did his or her homework? Did anybody do it? Oh, Franca said uh, she couldn't do it, she was too occupied. But well, this is very important because you you know I know some you you just started a business and you you want to get started and that's what we want to do with you we want to get started with you as soon as possible so that you start seeing results and how can you do it by following through the you know committing you need to commit your time at least if you can devote thirty to one hour every day it's a good thing at least for a start okay because this is very important. What actually makes you successful in life is the little, little things you do every day. Those little, little things you think that they, are, they, don't, they don't really matter. These are the things that accumulates, all right, to form a formidable result for you in the future, okay? So they, 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 your, your success is tied to your daily routine. The secret of your success is hinged on your daily routine. So it's important. So please, it's very, very important. Like you see that, that uh, those goals, I say them every day, every day. I declare them into my life every day. I am so happy and grateful that I, I, I have connected, now that I connect, I've connected like-minded people into my business. And that is how I meet like-minded people. Whatever you want, whatever you command, that's what works for you. There's power in the tongue. So it's very important. So you have to set your goals. And I want, I want you to know that the extent of, of your vision is the boundary of your income, right? The extent of your vision in this business is the boundary of your income. The extent of the money, the vision you have about the money you want, the extent of your vision about the goal you want in this business is going to be how much money you're going to make. Okay, so this is important. That's what we, want to, we have to set as priorities, right? Um, I'm going to mute you, Mr. Gwenga. If you don't mind, okay. All right, so you need to set your priorities right, okay? This is very important. So please, these goals are very important and you need to declare them every day. Then the next one is your contact list. I, I told you to make your contact list. The only, or the only person that contacts me every day about with their contacts, almost every day, is Mr. Benga. And I've been following through his contacts, okay? He's the only person that did the contact. I don't know whether he did the contact list because he didn't send me the contact list, but he do send me the names of people every, uh, like at least once uh, in two days or or once in three days, and and we've been I've been following through, and that's how it works. So we have to start get you started as soon as possible if you want to start seeing results. Okay. Now my 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 aim is to get you independent as soon as possible. Why? Why do I say that? Listen, you succeeding in this business is totally dependent on you not on me. My job is to lead you, to direct you, to show you the way. But if you want to succeed, it is you that is going to do it. I'm going to tell you to do, so I'm going to guide you every step of the, every step of the way, all right? Everything I listen for, to from my mentors, all right, I'm going to be telling you the same. And I see, I see them working in my life. So I'm going to be telling you. So I promise I'm not going to mislead you in any way, but these are important. Okay, these are very important. So please do the do write those. It will take you up to 30 minutes to write those goals. No, it will take you up to 30 minutes. You can write five goals, you can write 10 goals for this year in this business. So that one, at least if I don't know, please try to do that one. And your contact list, try to write your create it. I want see this week. I want to, I want to, I want to see your contact list. Okay, and I want to start working with people people on your contact list, like at least every day we should be, you should be, you should have recommended or you should be recommending like two, minimum two people for now, for start, 
Okay. Then I'll then from there, once you recommend them, then I'll follow through. Please let's do this because my I want to see you succeed. That's my job. The main thing is that I want to educate you and I want you to understand the business so that I was, you start making income. You making income will really make me happy. That's what I'm after. I want you to start making money. All right. So as we are developing you, as we are training you, both the ones we are doing on this training in the millionaire school, in the um, in the daily cell meetings in the morning, and all other events in this business, okay, I will expect you. Why we are training you? Why I'm also being trained? Let's be making money. That's how it works. And I told you that you cannot grow above your knowledge in this business. Like you cannot make income above your knowledge, above your understanding of the business. If you want to make more money, get more understanding. Do you understand? If you want to make more money, get more understanding. Don't just get the understanding, apply it. That's it. That's the secret. Apply it. Okay. Now let's go. Uh, we're going to start what we came for today. Today's topic is I don't know if you saw it is creating a business page on Facebook and lead generation. Last week, I told you about, I told you what leads are. Okay, we have what we call leads in business. We have prospects and we have customers. Your leads are strangers, people you don't know, right? You are assuming they are just fictitious customers you have in mind that, okay, if I send this post, if I make this post on Facebook, I could probably get, generate this kind of leads. So, you kind of project that, okay, if I make this post on Facebook or from my business page, um, let's say um, I'm going to get like five applications per day, you know, or five views or 10 views or 50 views. It depends. So you have to have this vision. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. So how to generate these leads? People you don't know, but you want them to be in your business. You want them to connect to your business. Because you don't just depend on the contact you have. Because, listen, that's why I told you that you can never run out of contact. If you, if you really read the books I sent you, okay, and also you listen to what I'm telling you, you can never run out. Like, even you going out now to go to the market, you are meeting people. You can generate leads from talking to people. How can you generate leads? Don't focus on telling them about your business from the first encounter, okay? First, you have to focus on creating a rapport. Do you know what is a rapport? Create a mutual relationship with them, like friendship. Be their friend. Be someone they can trust. Because if they can trust you, they can listen to your offer. I don't know if I'm making sense, okay? So you have to create a trust. You have to create that rapport with them. Then after that, you now qualify them from that rapport ship Okay, to become your to become um, your prospect. So you're not seeing them that okay, these guys, this person can be good for my business because you've seen how the person thinks, you've seen that the person have that tough mentality to be a connector and to retain this business and to stay in this business to, to stay through think and team. Then from there, you qualify them from prospects to become a connector. Okay, now there are some points I want to tell you. There are five steps to unlimited prospects. So we're going to do these five steps before we now go to the business page. So we go, um, this, is, this is a practical uh, uh, practical training today. So I'm going to be showing you live on Facebook, from my Facebook. I'm going to show you my business account. And after that, I'm also going to show you how to create yours. Is that okay? Fine. Okay, so now let's go. Please type, your, type on this uh, um, on the comment section if you have any question or all right or you want to have you want to ask any question or you want to make a contribution okay so i'm going to be sharing my screen with you now okay great okay no. Okay. No. Sorry. Okay. Now five steps. 
five steps to unlimited unlimited prospects. Okay, before I say that, there's something I want to tell you. Listen, prepare your mind for rejection. Prepare your mind for rejection. Rejections are going to come. People are going to reject you in one way or the other. So prepare your mind for that. Know that there are going to be setbacks. That's life, okay? It's not going to be rosy all the time. The main thing is that you're consistently doing it. That's the main thing, and you're doing it the right way, okay? You're going to have rejections. You're going to, uh, um, the, all these things will come. All these things will come, but it is your mentality. It is your, your um, perseverance. It is your determination that will keep you going, okay? So rejections are going to come, but please, that's, I just want you to have this in mind. Don't think that all the people you are going to be recommending will connect. No. Because the thing is, that's why I want you to focus on education and understanding. If you can be able to build a friendship with them, right? Then to an extent that you now start educating them about the economy, the connected economy, which we are now. Remember, we've moved from the industrial, we've gone to the information, we've gone to the computer age. Now we are in the connected age. That's why the owner of Facebook are making money for each click for each comment, for each message, for each, anything you just do on Facebook, the man is making money. That is why Linda AKG is making money for everybody that goes to a blog to do one or two things, insult themselves, you know? She makes more money. This is why Amazon makes more money every day. This is why YouTube makes more money. When you have videos on YouTube with high um, number of views, you make money, all right? So this is the power of the connected economy. You can never understand these things until you read those books we are telling you, until you attend the cell meetings, until you attend all the meetings we organize for you, you will never understand these things. First, you need to break out of the programmings. There were some programmings that were installed in you due to the environment you grew up from. Most of us that grew up from Africa, we were, we were, we were, we were brought up to believe that we are, we are poor. That's what the white people makes us to believe. They want us to be, that we are poor. So you have to get your mindset out of poverty. All right, you have to get to that point whereby you are not you are not thinking rich. You know, there's a book I'm going to be recommending for you. I don't know if any of you have been reading the books we sent you because there's yet another book which I'll be recommending you to do, to read. And the book, the title of the book is The Secrets of the Millionaire's Mind. The Secrets of the Millionaire's Mind. Now this book will tell you the programmings that are on your head, which you have to get rid of. And after you've gotten rid of those, docu uh, those, those documents, those files, those corrupt files on your head, those poverty files, then you now get ready to install new files. How can you install them? By reading more books, by attending our cell meetings, by attending our weekly meetings, by attending the millionaire school, and by listening to your mentor or your leader in this business. So you need to get rid of these files, okay? Very important, very important. So now, the five steps to unlimited prospects. Number one, number one is, or step one. So step one. Step one is active candidate list. Active, prepare an active candidate. Please, I want you to be writing these things down. Me, I write. When I, when I attend meetings, I, have my, I always have my notes and my pen. I write. This is how I'm able to tell you these things because I learned these things. They are here. I store them here. Beyond writing them, I store them here. So create an active candidate list. This was the, this was the project I gave you last time, last week. I told you to create a, 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 um, um, a contact list. So how, why, why do we say active? We say active in the sense that you should be able to expand it. So don't just say that because I have 200 contacts on my phone and that is all, that is the level, that is the only level my business can reach. Then maybe you recommended all these 200 contacts and out of these 200, maybe 20 joined, connected to you. Then you feel like, is it worth it? No, no man, no, no sir. You need to, you need to expand it. So which is going to be the next step? The next step is going to be step two. Step two, you need to what? You need to, Constantly expand the list, constantly. 
constantly expand the list. So when you are adding, for example, when you go out for shopping, you met somebody and then from there you became friends, target on the number, always collect the number. Once you have the person's number or contact or Facebook or Instagram, she cannot finish. You've already have, you've already qualified the person to become prospect. You've moved the person out of lead to prospect. Then you keep building the, the relationship at the right time, always be at the right time, you will know when to recommend the person because at that moment, you've already listened to the person, you know that this person has that toughness, this person has that um, um, great plans, you know, to have money, to be able to take care of themselves, to be financially free. That's the most important thing. Look for people that have, wants to be financially free, okay? So people who, who wants to be financially free will do whatever it takes to be financially free. And these are the people you should look out for, okay? So you constantly expand this list. When you go, when you make uh, the, the advert I'm gonna be sharing with you in this meeting, by God's grace, if you have time, then in this advert, uh, then the people that are gonna be um, reacting to, that, to your post, you will now get them, get their contact, all right? Or invite them directly to our event. From there, that's it. They can connect to your business, okay? So constantly expand the list. The next step, step three. Step three is raise awareness. How do you raise awareness? Sometimes you go live on your Facebook or your Instagram. And you are not there to advertise your business. You're not there to tell people to join your business. You're only there to educate them about the connected economy, okay? You like, just educate them. That's why you should read the books. When you read the books and the books are now here in your, in your, in your head, now you are now saying things. When you start speaking, in fact, you start speaking differently because anybody who knew you before, once you start reading this book, wow, your mentality will be re 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 renovated. Like you, like you change, everything about you will change. The, the way you look at things is gonna change. Listen, I realize that we all live in the same earth, all right? But we live in different worlds. Now, what is your world? Your world is your own interpretation of events. Your world is your explanation of how things are. Your world is the way you look at things. It's your perspective on the world. It's, the, it's your own perspective on the economy. The Bible says, when men shall say, they say, casting down on our path, they shall, be, they shall be lifting up. The righteous, it doesn't really matter if things are going down. We always know that we are going to be in front. So this is your world. This is your world. This is your world. And your world can determine the people that you're going to attract. Your world can determine the people you're going to attract into your business. This is why you need to build your world. You need to fill it with positivity. You need to be educated about the business, okay? Good. Raise awareness on your Facebook. Focus on education and understanding. Focus on educating them and getting them understand. Listen, if somebody is blind and they don't know they are blind, no matter how hard you try to tell them they are blind, they will never, they will never agree with you. Do you know that? Until you make them understand to see it, until you show them in the mirror that you are actually blind, until you try to tell them to move to a particular location and they can't move there, then they'll realize that they're actually blind. Then they'll be able to listen to your offer, they'll be able to listen to your business idea or your opportunity. So focus on raising awareness. All right. So we are doing these things um, uh, uh, in synergy, synergistically. We are doing it in synergy. We are combining all of them together because you know you don't wait to learn everything before you start applying. We, you can't learn everything at once. So the, the one you learn, apply. You learn, apply. That's how I do. Anything I learn from my mentor or from the meetings, I apply it. All right, and that's how you grow. That's how you grow, and your finances is growing as well. Your finances is growing. Raise awareness. Make posts. Sometimes when you see my posts about life, the present economy, you can copy. Because in this business, there's all called duplication. Whatever I post, you can copy the same thing. If I put my name, remove my name and put your name, 
it doesn't matter. I will not feel offended. It is not plagiarism. It is not copyright. Do it. In this business, that's how we do. Copy. Whatever thing you see me doing, do it. That's what, that's what I do. When I see my mentors do something, I try to do it. Do you understand? So when you're making all those posts, all those little posts you're making on, on your social media, do you, know that, do you know how many people that have contacted me from my post? No, let me tell you. In these few days, do you know how many people that just contacted me from my post? I was not advertising the business, so I was just making a post about something, maybe about the millionaire school. Yeah, like I remember, I think two people contacted me about the millionaire school. I just posted the flyer on my WhatsApp status, on my, it, it went to my Instagram, of course, it's there, also my Facebook status. Man, two people, one contacted me on WhatsApp, like two people contacted me on WhatsApp, the other person contacted me on, on, um, on, 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 on Facebook. And one is really interested in the business. I've even done, we've even done presentation for the person. So this is how you do, when you raise awareness, you see that you are, you are in a better position to attract people. Do you understand? Step three, step four. Step four is never prejudge. Never prejudge. Now, what, is, what does it mean to never prejudge? Now, you know that there are some of your friends that you know that I don't think this person will join this business. I don't think this person, this person doesn't have, uh, he has a negative mindset about um, any business online. This person has a negative mindset about making money. You know, this person is always like this, like that. Don't prejudge. Can I shock you? Sometimes the people that are going to join your business are going to be the people you thought they aren't going to join. That's it. Yes. Yes. The people you think that they're, they're not going to join might be the people that are going to join your business. So whether you feel they're going to join or not, still recommend them. Still tell them about it. Okay? So never prejudge. I hope you're writing these things down. Good. Step four. Sorry, step five. Network on purpose. Network on purpose. Let's work on purpose. Be intentional about what you do. Wake up every when you wake up every day. I want to talk to I want to I want to recommend five people today. When you wake up after you you've prayed, you've uh, declared your goals from the list you've written. As the Bible say, write the vision down. Um, run uh, okay. They say write it plainly so that he that reads it will run with it. The vision is yet for an appointed time. Don't it delay. Wait for it, for it shall come to pass. It will not delay. So these are, these are practical. The Bible is very practical. The problem is that in Christianity, we preach half gospel. We don't preach, we don't preach a balanced gospel. So many people have a bad mindset, negative mindset about money. They keep praying for money. They keep praying for miracle money. And they are broke. This is why they are broke. Listen, prayer does not give money. Prayer does not give money. What gives money is work. What gives money is strategy. What gives, God will give you opportunity. When you pray, when you sow your seed, you pay your tithe, you pay offering, all those things, God will bring opportunities to you. But you have to work it out. You have to work it out. You, you get it? Network on purpose. Wake up every morning after saying your prayers, committing your day, declare your goals. I, Father, I am so happy and grateful today that I have attracted like-minded people into my business. I am so happy and grateful today that that uh, uh, that I'm I'm going to that I have gotten five connectors in my business. Okay, now li listen to how I'm saying it. You are not saying that it will. No, you are saying it like it has happened. You say it like it has happened. That is faith. That is faith. Okay, so you go in that direction. You do these things every day. Today I'm going to I'm going to recommend two people, five people, ten people. Remember, the more people you want to recommend, the more your finances can grow, the more, the more the probability or the more possibility of your finances growing. So it depends on you. It depends on what you want to do. It depends on your target. This is why the goal is very important. After you've declared the goals, you now write down your goal for the day. You have your general goal for this year. 
Me, I have a general goal for this year. I have a goal for the next 10 years in this business. That's to tell you that I'm not going to quit. You see, these goals will keep you going. Even when things get tough, it will keep you going. So I have a goal already written for the next 10 years in this business. Every day I wake up, I have a goal for that day. I have, I have it written down the people I want to contact today. Do you understand? I have, for example, today now, I have, it, I have it written down the person I'm going to contact. So you have to network on purpose. You be intentional about this thing. Be intentional about making money. Else, money is only, always going to be stranger to you. You have to be intentional about money. Okay? You have to be intentional about making money. So uh, these are the five steps of unlimited prospects. Okay? Five steps of getting people unlimitedly into your business. Now, I want you to note this. To be successful in network marketing, you've got to be hungry. You've got to be coachable. Right? You've got to be, what's the first one? You've got to be, you've got to be, what? What's the first one? Can you type it in the comment section if you if you if you if you heard it? Hungry. You have to be hungry. The way you're hungry to eat your food, you have to be hungry. You should you should have a passion. Like, do you know how passionate I am about this this business? I don't know if you know. Every day I wake up, I, I send a post for the activity we're going to do. I send a post about the meetings. I'm checking out, I'm checking on, on my on my teammates. I'm also busy on myself. Sometimes I don't even sleep uh, on time. I don't sleep on time. I wake up on time. Listen, these are the prices you have to pay, especially when you're starting from the beginning. These are the prices you have to pay. All these rich people you see on the street, they pay the price. It is not... It, see, listen, success does not come by accident. It comes by incident. What are incidents? The incidents you've placed, the incident, the opportunities that you you actually uh, uh, leveraged on. These are what makes you successful, right? It doesn't come by accident. So the next one, if you want to be successful in this business, you have to be coachable. Be ready to be coachable. What is coachable? Be ready to be trainable. Be ready to be trained, okay? Be ready to be trained and also be ready to train others. Let me add the next one, okay? Be ready to be coachable. You've got to be coachable. Sorry, you've, you've got to be hungry, number one. Number two, you've got to be coachable. Number three, you've got to train others. You've got, you've got to, you've got to train others. This is why you should take notes in these uh, trainings. Why? Because so that you can be able to train your, listen, my job, my, my dream is for you to be independent from me in the next few weeks or months. I am always here, even in the next five months, you still contact me, you still, you're still, I want you to attend my meetings, everything, but apart from the meetings, apart from the trainings you're receiving, I want you to be able to also form your WhatsApp group and also the people you're recommending and um, we, are, we, are, we are following them up and they get, you get them signed up in your team, in the business, you add them there, or the people you feel like they are your prospect and you've already started talking to them, add them there, all right? And start building. Start also creating your own trainings. Everything you learn here, I want you to be applying it there. You know, this, because that's what that's what I want. That's what I want to achieve in you. This is my this is my desire. This is my one of my biggest goals. And you are training them. You are also training others to do the same. This is how it keeps going. And never forget this. When you've got when you've started doing this and it's working, like you are receiving training here. You are training others. You've got uh, you've got enormous knowledge about this business. Never stop learning. That was the mistake so many people do. They feel like they've arrived. And listen, once you've come to that point where you feel like you've arrived, your, your income too will feel like it has arrived. And that, that might be the stop of your income. You might not expand beyond that in your income, in your earning. So the more you are, you're getting, the more you're teaching, the more you're applying, you're going back to get more. So it keeps going on and on, on and on and on and on. Even our leaders in this business, they're still listening to their mentors. So this is important, okay? 
So to be successful in network marketing, you've got to be hungry, you've got to be coachable, and you've got to be willing to train others. Okay, um, I hope you've all written this down. Now we're going to move that we are going to move directly to creating how to create a business page on Facebook. So maybe next time we're going to talk about on Instagram and other platforms. But for now, also link in your LinkedIn. For now, Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to share my Facebook with you. Okay. So this is my Facebook. First, I'm going to show you my business page. Then, then we're going to model on it to create a new one. Show how to create a new one. Uh, if you can see my Facebook, please type yes in the comment section. Can you see my Facebook? Please type yes so that I will know that you're, you're seeing it. Can you see my Facebook? Yes? Okay, good. Let's move on. Okay, now, um, so my Facebook name is, sorry, my, my, my uh, business page name is P Word Consult. So P Word Consult, so this is it. All right, I have 156 followers. Okay, good. So now this is how it looks, you see? I have a cover, I have a profile um, page, okay? This is the one that people see. You know, this is the, the first one they will see. Your, your, just like your profile picture on Facebook. So it has to be something about the business you're doing. I'm also gonna show you how you can create a, your own logo. For example, you have to, you can create your logo. I will show you the softwares, online softwares you can use for free, okay? So I'm gonna show you. So this is my own for now. This is my own. I can rebrand later. And this is my cover page for my uh, business page. Now, look at this bio. So it will give people an idea about what you do. So social media marketer, affiliate marketer, university admission specialist, uh, business consultant. Okay. Now, when you, when you scroll down, so you can see here the page, I am a business consultant, all right? I am a business consultant. That's that's the overall thing. Wait, if you want to call, if you want to say like, okay, one particular name that you can actually identify with my business is a business consultant, right? Now I have 156 followers now, and this is where I live. Uh, my address, UL Trambayova 11 in Poland. This is my Polish phone number, and this is my email. Uh, this is my um, this is my email address. Okay. And this is like a website from the business I'm doing. One of the businesses I'm doing. This, this is a website from it. My own personal, my own personal website from one of the businesses I'm doing. So you can have your website as well there. So once you've, once you've registered you, you also you also be able to have access to your own. Um, it's going to be like your website. Okay. So we're going to give you all these things later. So it's going to be like your website, which you're going to post in your business page. Okay, once we, once we finalize our registration, you're going to have them. Okay, so now look at look at the things I post. So I don't know, so, so the people who are following me on social media would have seen this on my WhatsApp status, on my Instagram, on my Facebook. So you see the things I post about, all this is about education so that people will, will understand that we are no longer in the, in the old economy. We're in the new economy now that, you know, if you are smart enough, you can make money through using the connected economy. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be every day, every time going to work, having your own boss, remaining a lawyer employee forever. Your aim is you being building your own business so that you can work from anywhere and you can have your own time freedom. You'll be financially free. You don't need to be answering sa, 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 sa to people every day. And you, you, are, you have time for yourself, okay? Good. So now look at, this one was for the, because I also do uh, admission. For those who wants to come to Europe to study, who wants to come to Poland or Turkey. So you see, see some of my um my my posts. So you see some of my posts. So let's read this one. Let me just tell you about this. So, what's the first thing you do when you when, when your alarm goes off in the morning? Do you hit the snooze button? 
or do you bounce out of bed ready to crush every every goal you set for the day? The world's most successful people don't hit the snooze button. They hop right out of bed and begin creating the energy, the need to make the most of every single minute of in the day, right? Now, um, your, your morning routine is what sets your entire day up for success. There's no better time to prime your brain and your body to perform at an unstoppable level of focus and drive. Now, this post was made by one of my mentors, Tony Robbins, okay? Which I'm, I'm, I would strongly uh, recommend you to listen to him because he has wealth of experience. He knows a lot of things about this business. So you can just type Tony Robbins on, on YouTube. So you're going to see him, you're going to see his videos. Now, these are poverty mindsets. So let's read this one. Now, the poverty mindset, the most, the worst people you can serve are poor people. Give them something for free and they think it's a trap. Just like now you're telling people about this business now. Just imagine now I'm training you for free. Nobody's paying me. But I, I am happy training you. Okay? Because I want to educate you. Because when I know that when you're educated, I'll make more money. Do you understand? And that's what that's what that's it. Focus on building people. Focus on making impact. And money will not be a problem for you. Okay? So poor people, broke people, when you tell, when you give them an idea, they'll say it's too good to be true. They'll be telling you some things, some things that doesn't, you know, doesn't really blend. So tell them it's a small investment. They will say they will not make an, they will not make enough. Or they will like, what if it doesn't work? They'll start telling you all these kind of things. Do you know that these same investments, all, uh, rich people are always looking for investments. This little, little investment, they're always looking for it to invest. They already have money, but what do they want to do? They want to sustain their wealth. They want to expand their wealth. Now there are categories. You can make money and get and, and run bankrupt tomorrow or in the next few months if you don't know how to sustain it. When you acquire wealth, you need to understand the principle of wealth management, wealth sustainability, and wealth expansion. Okay? Now, invite them to try new things. They will say they do not know how to do it. Invite them to do a traditional business. They will say it is difficult. Tell them it's a new business model. They will say it's a pyramid or a scam. They always say this is Ponzi scheme. Our business is not Ponzi scheme. It is not uh, MMM. Okay, I hope you understand. We are not doing Ponzi scheme and we are not doing MMM. Please, let's get this straight. But poor people always have this mindset. They feel like every business online is a Ponzi scheme and it is a scam. Now, tell them to run a store. They will say there is no freedom. Tell them to run a new business. They will say they have no experience. Okay. Tell them to come for cell meetings since they don't, they don't have experience. They'll tell you they don't have time. This is how poor people be. And this is how they remain poor forever. This is how they remain poor. Okay. They have something in common. It's common about poor people, about broke people. They love to research in Google. Always going to Google. You tell them about a business, they'll go to Google. They don't want to take risk. Listen to friends. They like listening to friends. The friends with them. That business. Uh, this person, this also person did it or it didn't work out. Oh. Now, did you did you did you make inquiry? Did you do a background check to know? Okay, what did this person do? Because sometimes the business you did, the reason why it didn't work might not be the reason, might not be that it is not legit. It might not be that it is because it is a scam. The reason why it didn't work might be because you don't actually understand it and you didn't you, you didn't learn about it. You see, you see why you see why people fail in businesses. So the fact that you've done other businesses like this before, and why am, I, why am I telling you this? When you're talking to other people tomorrow, when you've grown to a point whereby you've started presenting to people and, and the person is telling you that, uh, and uh, I, I, I've tried something like this before, it didn't work. You, you, know how to, you know how to handle objections. These are objections. He's trying to tell you, he's trying to tell you he's not interested. You can ask them something like this. You can tell them like, okay, Okay, can you tell me about it? What did you do? Why you were doing that business? What did you do? 
How many hours do you spend per day in the business? How many books do you read about the business? You know, you don't understand. How many people do you listen to per day about the business? Show me your mentors. So you see that after you've told them, after you've told them all these things, they'll be ashamed. You'll see that, you'll see the emptiness in what, they'll have no excuse again. So if you understand these things, you handle every objection because this business, how to get connectors is how to understand how to, the emotional state of your prospect. Uh, okay. Last week, oh, no, not last week, this week, my mentor told me, he gave me the privilege to train his, his, group, his, his group members. Imagine, he's been in the business for over two years now. He's my, he's my cousin. He gave me the privilege to train them on the topic, mastering influence. Okay, and which is, I don't know, I, I think we posted it, but some of you didn't attend. It was explosive. You need to understand the state of your prospect, the emotional state. You need to understand their, their, their deepest emotional state, okay? But for you to understand it, you have to manage your own state. How can how do you manage your own state? When somebody offends you, how do you react? You cannot control how people uh, um, treat you, but you can control how you react to them. That is how to manage your state. How to manage your state is choosing to consciously, okay, to intentionally not to reply negativity, choosing not to reply objection. When you know that somebody is intentionally trying to poke you to anger, you choose intentionally not to react negatively to it, but to turn it into an opportunity to win them, win them over. How do you do that? Still be nice. Even when they try to insult you, still be nice to them. Why? You want to get to that emotional state. You want to understand that top emotional state. And once you understand this, you'll be able to control them. You'll be able to tell them, hey, this is why you fail this business in this business. And I want to show you something. If I have a if if you can, if you if if I have a model that will work for you, that I can follow up with you, you know, despite what business can do and work out something for you, will you be interested to listen to the offer? Most people will tell you yes. And from there, you've turned them you can get them to become a connector in your business. This is essential because um, I'm going to have a special day to teach you about how to master influence, how to be a leader, how to be a leader, how to kind of control the people that you need to get them into your business. I'm going to do that. Now let's continue. So uh, they love to research. Of course, they love to listen to friends. Now they think more than a university professor. They always think more than a university professor. Listen, there are people that, that I too know won't kill them. I too know, I too know. They are, they are broke, oh. you're trying to show them a way that tell you that this one, this one, this one, they're trying to teach you what you already know. I too know won't kill them. I too know kept them in poverty. So many people, so many, so many are languishing in poverty because of I too know. All right. Now, they want to think like more than a, they think more than a, a university professor and move less than a blind man leading another. So, imagine a blind man now leading you. How you know the 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 walk is like somebody who is drunk because the, the person cannot see. How can someone who cannot see lead you? Ask them what they want. They cannot respond. Okay, what do you want in life? I show you business, you poor money, you don't get. I'm showing you business that work for you. You're telling me that uh, your friend tried this, this kind of a thing and you don't work. Okay, what did your friend do? Why, why you don't work for your friend? You don't feel you don't feel answer. Okay, now I want to show you now that I want to prove to you now that this thing will work. Attend meetings, attend trainings, you know, attend. Now, what do you want? They don't know. This is how, this is how poverty. So, this, this post, you can actually copy it. Later on, you can come to my Facebook. You can come to my business page and copy this thing and post them because when you are posting these things, people are seeing it. And from there, it's changing their mentality. From there, some people, they will say, yeah, yeah something, there's something different about you. There's something that has happened about you. Please tell me what has happened. They would like to associate with you because they feel like you have an opportunity. You feel like you are, there's a book you're reading that's changing your life. Okay? Important. 
these are just one of the posts. Now, uh, another thing I want to show you, okay, um, uh, if you know me, I'm also a YouTuber. This is one of my shows. I make shows on, on, on Facebook and I make shows and I upload them on Facebook, I record shows. So this is one of my shows. This uh, one of the, the uh, second to the last show that I did on the power of innovation. You can also check it out. It is powerful. It will teach you about how to create. You know, the, we, are, we were created by God to be creators. Listen, the Bible says that you shall make your way prosperous. I, I, I said it last time. God is not going to be the one to build wealth for you. No, you have to build your wealth. You have to build it. And people say that, poor, poor people say money is the root of evil. That's a lie. The Bible didn't say money is the root of evil. The Bible say the love of, your, the love of money. So you can love God, okay? Now God gives you the power to make wealth, all right? Because money is important. If, if you have money, you can even support the gospel. You can build. Imagine taking your mother abroad to Dubai for holidays. Imagine. Listen, for your information, we are going to Egypt. I am my, my boss. We are going to Egypt in November. This is what can happen for you if you're serious in the business. Okay? In our next trip, it could be Dubai. It could be the Philippines. And we're only going there, all expense paid trip. You're not paying anything. Hotel, low, flight ticket, low, food, low, everything covered. Just imagine, what kind of business do you do that will give you this opportunity? So if you're serious, in our next trip, you're going to go with us. And that is my prayer and that is my desire for us to meet in the trip, in the on vacation, 10 days vacation, enjoying our lives, going to beach, enjoying ourselves. I don't, so this is what I want for you. Now, these are my videos. I have videos on YouTube that I, I do. So I'm working on myself like, like I am so crazy about this. I am very crazy about this business. I'm crazy. I'm crazy about impact. I'm crazy about affecting lives positively. I am crazy about people like understanding that they can really be happy. They can really make it in life. I'm crazy about it. So um, there are other things I did. There are other posts, which I'm going to be showing you how to make posts. Okay. Uh, because of our time, I don't know if I'll show you today. But what I want to work, what I want to focus on is, I want to focus on helping you understand how to create your page. So, anyway, let's go back to how to create your page. So I'm going to go back to my Facebook. Okay, please let me go back to my Facebook. So now I come here. Let me switch. Let me switch to my account. Okay, here. Okay, now I'm back to my original Facebook. All right, I'm back to my Facebook now. To create a page on Facebook, there are, there are different ways of creating a page on Facebook. I'm going to show you two ways, okay? If you want to create a page on Facebook, go to your main Facebook account. Then on your left-hand corner, on your left-hand corner, everybody, can you see? Please, if you can see, type yes on the, in the comment section. Okay. You go to your top left corner, then you click page, pages. Can you see it? You click here, pages. And when you, when you click it, Okay, now because I already have a page, okay, but I can create a new page. So if I wanna, if I wanna create a new page, let me go there. So when you click it, you write the name of your business. For me, mine was Pivot Consult. You can write, um, you can write uh, Franca, uh, Frankly Wealthy, or you can write. Um, uh, you can write, uh, you can write, you can write something like Mrs. Impact, or you can write any name you feel like it suits your vision. Okay, any name that suits your vision, you can write it. So let's, so Mrs. Impact. So you want to do, you want to make impact, Mrs. Impact. You come here, then in this category, you choose um, the the categories about what. What, be, what kind of business you want? Do you want marketing? For example, now let's type network marketing. Network. So you can type network marketing. So add like five. Network marketing. Let's see. Okay. So when you do like this, you've added one. Then you can add uh, sales if you want. So it brings out this. You can add another one. You can add marketing. So like to be easy, it's just, it's just like hashtag. You see the importance of hashtag, okay? Like, okay, I remember I made a post on Instagram and after some months, a girl 
from Kenya wrote me that she was blessed by the post. And I checked, the girl, she, she's not my friend on Instagram. How did she get to know my post? These tags that you add, like hashtag, hashtag blessing, hashtag happy Sunday, hashtag. Now, anybody that is looking for something related to happy Sunday, once you click it, your post will show up. And from there, the people will see what you've posted. So this is why it's important. You can add more if you, if, if you want to do uh, now for our business now, you can say, um, you can say uh, consultant, consultant, you can say connector, and that's then, okay, then you have it already, you have five categories. Now it says, see, it says choose a category that describes the type of business in which uh, organization topic page to present. You can add three up to three. So here you can add three. So maybe let's remove sales. Let's remove sales. Let's remove. Uh, okay, we have marketing. Okay, let's move marketing since we already have uh, network marketing. So you have three. Now the next one you need to do is you scroll down. Description. What is the description of your business? You say you you're gonna say like um, you can say. Uh, you can write that, um, um, you can say raising, focus on, focus on raising awareness about the new economy, which is the connected, connected, or you can write something like, semicolon, how to leverage, how to leverage, leverage, sorry, on the connected economy, All right? How to leverage on the connected economy. Then after you've done that, let's see what else. Okay, we need character limit should be 255. So we need to write more. So this, this is why here it's not highlighted. So let's add more things because of because of our time. All right. Let me just add more things because of our time. I want that I want that place to be highlighted so that you can see how you can create it. Okay. So if you've done everything correctly, here should be highlighted. I'm trying to see, you can add image contact. Uh, let me see. Maybe here, maybe we made a mistake here. Uh, okay, let's let's select here. Okay, so select, you, you need to select, let me see if there's marketing. Okay, market research consultant. So the, the idea is select the ones that are here because if you don't select the ones that are here, it will not allow you. So select here, then let's move real estate because uh, real estate is not part of our, what we do. Let's see if there's anything related to connect. Connect. No. Let's see business. Some, sorry, marketing. Marketing research. Uh, internet marketing service. Okay, internet marketing service. Business. Let's see business. Okay, business consultants. So you can add more depending on what you want. Now here, we can still, we can move this because doesn't make sense, okay? So focus on raising awareness about the new economy, how to leverage on the connected economy, okay? Then you can click here. Once you click here, it's gonna create it. So now look at it here, you've gotten it here, all right? You've gotten it here. Now you see Mrs. Impact, internet marketing service. The first one you wrote is what is going to appear here. You can edit it and change it later. Now, the next thing you do is you have to add a profile photo. How do you do that? Um, I'm gonna show you something. You can go to this place. You can go to Canva. How many of you use Canva? Do you know Canva? So you can go to Canva to create a logo for your business. So when you go to Canva, um, you create account. You come here, you create account. But I already have account with Canva. So I think mine is with my Facebook, I think. Yes, with my Facebook. So I'm gonna log in into my Canva now with my Facebook because I already have an account. 
then um, let's wait um, just a few seconds, please. It's loading. Uh, let me do, I'll try to finish up as soon as possible, okay? Because I, I, I only intended to spend one hour, but uh, I'm so sorry for keeping you this long. So I'll try to round up as soon as possible. And we're, we're going to continue on, I think on tomorrow. Yeah, either tomorrow on Tuesday, we have, a, we have another meeting. So we're going to continue. Okay. Don't know what's, what's this. Please wait, the page is still loading. Okay, so uh, just note that this is just the, one of the ways you can create your, your this is on Facebook, your page. So, <clears throat> sorry. Now you have this here. You have this, this is how the platform is. Um, I have some previous designs, see? I, I, I did these designs here, you can see. I did these things here. I made all these designs here myself. So you can also use templates. For example, you can, you can use any of these templates and add your picture there. Now, but let's say you want to create something. If you want to create your profile picture, you can come here, create, then you can say, if you can say logo, all right? When you come to create, you come to logo, all right? When you come to logo, So it's open. It's open up um, like an empty place, an empty, an empty space where you can do that. Then you can see your available. The available tools, like it's just like when you're using your phone, you want to edit a photo. Just it's easy. You come there, you you, you take and drag. So this uh, software is actually very easy because you just come here, you drag and post here. You can see the ones that are for free. When you drag it here, and you can add, you can you can customize it to whatever thing you want. You can use template as well. This are the, okay. You can we have text. You can write text here. Um, you can change this. All right. You can put something like you can put uh, Mrs. 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 Impact. Okay. You can come here and put Mrs. Impact. So this one now. Let's try and remove this. So you can expand this. So you see, then you can, what you do again, you can change the color of this. So let's expand it so that it will, yeah, you see. Now you have something like this now. You can have your logo like this. Now, because you want it to be visible, you can change the, uh, the, um, the color of the text. So let's look for color. The text. Um, Let's look for color. Also, the writing style first. So, you, for example, you can change it to this. You can change it to this. You can change it to this. So, this one is more visible, I guess. I guess it's more visible even with the color, right? You can also leave the color like that if you want. But if you like, you can also change it. You can add another color. And um, let's look for, let's leave it like this. Um, you can you can increase it, you can reduce it here. Okay, more. I'm trying to look for the color. Background, no background is okay. Folder style photos, videos. Hmm. No, not upload. Maybe this, no. no. You can you can animate them if you want as well. But I think it should be here. I think color should be here. How about the A of there with red? Pardon? The A of there with red. The A of what? The letter A on top there. Mrs. With red beneath it. You can use that to change as well. You mean the this letter A? No, okay. close to the uh, number number lining. I, I didn't understand you. Okay, Miss. Oh, Mrs. Impact. So you mean? Uh, 
change the uh you were looking for how to change the color i'm saying why not try oh the, oh this one oh yes thank you thank you thank you so much all right so now um you can use anyone probably what what color do you think would be better if you are the one designing this logo what color do you think would be better there's already pink i think blue won't be bad blue right so maybe this blue Okay, so let me see. Maybe blue. Or this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe the I think the, the image does not allow changing of color. Because the templates, you can um some of them have their own um because some of them they're like follow com. I'm trying to see. Let's, let me try again. But I don't think it's visible like this. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we want to use this now. For example, let's say we want to use this. So let's say Mrs. Impact is our business name and we want to use this. Now, what do you do? You come here, uh, you download it. So when you want to download, you save. So now we want to save it as, so it's going to be like MP4. Or you can save it as a GIF image, right? So, but you want it to be like this, for example. Let's see if we can use it. I'm not sure. Uh, now it's downloading. Yes, yeah, it's downloading. It has downloaded. So what will happen next is you come to your business page. When you come to your business page, you now try to upload. Okay, let me see here. Yes, you come here, add. A cover photo, no, add a profile photo, right? It's cool, yeah, add it for the profile photo. So let me see if you can, if you can use that. Um, hmm. No, not this one. So I think we need to save it as GIF because that one is MP4. So let's go back and save it as GIF. So let's go back to download. So when you come to download, um, you you choose here, so let's let's save it as J, JPEG JPG. So you have it downloaded, and after you download it, um, after it has downloaded, a few seconds to downloading. Okay, good. It has downloaded. So you come back here to your profile. You come here, then you add it here. So you see, you have your business logo and that's how your business is going to be. Everything you're doing now, it has become your vision. Now you, now consistency is key. Every business you, you try, you start doing, you know that on the first time, if you open a shop selling food, you know that if the first day, not too many people have eaten your food. Nobody has eaten your food yet. It is one, some people, when one or two people come, they eat your food and they like it, they'll, they'll start coming tomorrow and they'll also invite other customers. You, you get it. Now, the next thing is now the cover photo. The cover photo can be, you can go like this. Um, you can go back to the Canva. Now, you come you come here, you go back. Go back here. When you go back, you come back to create the design. When you come back to create a design, then you come now, you, you use, um, I thought, I think it's Facebook something. Uh, let's see, Facebook video, no? No, not Facebook, sorry. No Facebook posts. No, not event cover. Um, maybe, no. I don't think it's Instagram posts. Wait. Maybe here. No, not here. Okay, you can just choose anyone you want to use. For now, let's just choose anyone we want to use for now. We've done logo, we've done flyer. Then we can use probably here, Instagram post or something. Or, okay, sorry. Let's go, let's go there. 
Instagram post. Or there's something else you can do. You can take you can take any of this that you see that is related to marketing or related to business. So you keep searching for the one you think that maybe this one. But you, mind you, oh, I think this one is not free because some of them are not free. Mind you, it has to be uh, make make sure that it's not copyright. Let somebody not sue you tomorrow. Okay, let's look for another one. So let's keep searching. So you keep searching until you get the one you think that would be a good cover. Another thing you can do is, um, apart from this, you can come here. You can come here. You can go to Google. When you go to Google, you, you say, uh, now you want a cover page. So you say, um, network marketing, marketing cover photos. Okay. When you come here, you come to images. Okay. Then you come here. So you, you now look for the one you think uh, we, we suit your vision. So you keep checking. Let's see if we can get an, a one that we, so I want the one that does not specify network marketing in it. That's the one I want. Maybe, no, not this one. Not this one. Because I want something that uh, they, don't, they don't need to know everything. You get it? Until when they now contact you, then you now tell them everything about what to do. Okay, let's see. Maybe something like this. What do you think? But this one has to do with Facebook. So um, it will look like your, your marketing Facebook. So let's do another, another let's look at another one. Another one. So you keep searching, keep searching until you, you actually find, yeah, you can use this one, team success. Okay. When you come to team success, you go, you come here, right click. When you right click, you save it as. You save it as, then you come to, uh, once you open, you now put business page, business cover, business cover. Okay, business cover. Then let's save it in our downloads. We come here. Then after we've done that, then we'll come back to our business page. Then we'll come to this place again, add cover photo. Then when you come here, then you come to this place and add it. And after you've added it, but make sure that you add it based on the, the specified um, the pixel, right? I think the pixel, the required pixel, I think is about 500 to 500 or so. Um, I can't remember, but you need to know the uh, guidelines about creating it so that you would, uh, it will suit your it will suit in. So once we've done that, you save, you click save. And after you've done that, it's still saving, by the way. Okay, good. Now you have your this thing. Now you can put your number. It has opened here now for you to connect your Facebook page to your WhatsApp. You know, you can now, this is my number because from the previous page, you can now do a lot other other things like you know you can do create WhatsApp ads. So you know that you can also create WhatsApp ads and the rest. Uh, let's leave it. Let's leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Good. Now you have your page, right? You have it set up. How do you how do you think about it? What do you think about this page? What do you think? It's okay. Okay. Now it's just the starting. You still have to create a username here. Okay, you have to create a username here. So you can add the button, you can add, you can edit anything you want to do. You can come here, you can get started, you can create a post. Okay, but then you have to focus first on building the, the page. You have to build it first. So let's come here, add, 
add the button, let's see. So adding a button means, um, you are, so what you're going to add is, it depends. For example, you're going to, the so called call to action in business. Okay, so you, you're adding in such a way, do you want them to follow you? Do you want people to contact you when they uh, want to reach you? Do you want them to follow you? Do you want, how do you want it? Do you want them to send you a message? So let's say book now or call now, or okay, let's say send a message, send a message. So now the question, is anyone available to chat? That's this what is going to be written. Then the next one is, hi, thanks for contacting us. We've received your messages and appreciate you reaching out. So are you okay with this? If you're okay with them, you click save. If you're not okay with them, you add question. Now, after you've done that, you can you can keep building on the pages. You can you can choose, okay, you can. So now you see this is completed. These are the ones that are completed already. Now these are completed. Um, what else? Okay, another thing I want to teach you, you come to services, you've done home, you come to services, you can add a, a service, you can add a service. So if you want to add a service, what service do you render? And how much do you do that? At a starting price, at a variable price, at no price, is it free? How much do you charge? And what is the description of your products? Okay, what are the details of the product? You can add all these things. Then you can also come here, uh, how can book how, how can people book appointments? What are the duration of the hours in which they can book you for? Is there extra minutes? You can add an image, you know, to include an image of what you want to stand in this particular category. And after you've done that, you save it. You can also come here to review, you know, like when people when, whenever you offer services to them, so that people will give you a positive feedback about your page. And when you know that uh, once people give you positive feedback about your page, whenever people come to your page, how would they know that you are legit? They'll go to the reviews to know that, yes, people have worked with you before and uh, they, they're even commenting positive about you. So they'll feel, they'll, they'll feel more um, um, kind of, uh, they'll feel more peace at home to work with you. Do you understand? So this is why, I don't know if you have noticed this, and whenever you go to pages, you see reviews. So after you've done that, you can save it after you've done this. Then next thing is shop. What are you selling, All right? You come to shop, add a product. For example, you add a product, when you add a product, and it depends, when you add it, we want, you want to add it for free, when you want to add it to pay money, you can reach to more audience, okay? Okay, this is, this is about this one. Then you have more. You have more. There's more you can do with this one. There's so, so many things. Offers, photos, videos, events. You know, you know that in this our uh, business, there are events that you can organize. You can organize events in your locality. You can organize events from your business page, reaching out to your social media uh, um, um, your friends and contacts. Okay, another important thing I want to teach you before we go is you cannot invite people to follow you. You can transfer all your Facebook friends. If you have 5,000 people on Facebook, you can send invitation to them to follow your page. So whenever you think you post on your business page, they'll see it. And these are the ways that now you cannot qualify them because whenever they're seeing your post, it will even give you more, uh, it will increase your chances of you, of you getting them into the business because some of them will even start contacting you without you contacting them because they're going to be seeing your post. Do you understand? Whenever you now make a post, it will reach them. They'll be the first audience to be reached. All right? Do you understand? So that's it about today. Uh, that's it about today. Uh, another thing I, want, I actually wanted to show you is um, there's another way to create a business page apart from this one. So I'll, I'm not going to create it, but I'm just going to show you. Uh, so let me go back to my Facebook, my real Facebook, my main Facebook, I mean. So let me go back to it. So this is my main Facebook. So now, apart from using this, you can create a business page by coming to this place. You see this box with uh, little, little cycles in them. Click it. When you click it, when you look at it, you, you see page. When you click the page, to bring it to the same place. Have you seen it? So it's, it's still the same thing. Okay. So um, let, we're going to draw the curtain here. In the next... Uh, training, I'm going to, um, we're going to, I'm going to now 
do practical. I'm going to now show you an example of posts, how to create a post to generate leads. The kind of posts that you will do, whereby you can now be able to generate leads. Okay. So, um, uh, if do you have any question for now? Do you have any question? Please, if you have any question, you can unmute yourself and ask. Do you have any question? Benga, uh, Mr. Benga, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Franca, Mr. Abe, do you have any question? Okay. Um, um, although, um, uh, thank you very much for the, uh, the time and the, the, the information passed through. And uh, uh, I really appreciate it. Although uh, for me, I I I I actually have a business a business. I, I actually have a business. Okay. But uh, it's not actually related to you know, and business consulting. It's more like uh, related to fashion. So the the relation is that probably maybe I should. Uh, yeah, I'm considering if I should create another business page or I just the one already there. So I'm just trying to move it open. I don't know what it was. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry. Uh, if I want to get you. Uh, I want to get it correct. So you said you have a business page. Well, what is it related to? Is it into uh, purely fashion? And, uh, fashion. Yeah, so. Fashion. Hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think, right? Um, you should create a, a new business page, okay? Being that, um, you know, your audience are going to be seeing what you're doing, so they might be confused. You get it, they might be confused if today they are seeing clothing, tomorrow they are seeing, um, you know what I mean. Now they, be, they can be confused, or you can also merge it together too. You can merge it together in the sense that um, it's possible to merge it together and it is possible to also create um, a new one. So the main thing is that what do you feel convinced about doing? What do you think that, because now you already have, you, you know that it will be easier for you now, you already have followers. So it will be easier for you to generate leads from the one, from the existing one you have now. The main thing is that bro, there's no, the, anything you can do to generate leads, bro, do it. Okay. As long as it is legit, do it. So um, I think you should continue with the one you're having now and try to also, so you can, yeah, you can merge it. Okay. Uh, okay. Can, 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 I don't know if you can just log in just to see what I'm talking about. Okay. Maybe my just, my business page. No, my, my, my. Just to see what I'm talking about. Okay. You know. Okay. Uh, let me let me see if I can give because I need to give you permission to share. Okay, I'll give you the permission no, to share. No, no, so that no, you, you can share no. you can share your screen. No, no. What I mean, is, I don't I don't have a editor. What I mean is that maybe you can just click in and just check and oh, see. Okay, okay. Can you give me what's the, what's the name of your I, because if I if I type it now, we'll, we'll see it here. What's the name okay, of your business okay. page? Okay, then let, let me just type it. Okay, all right. If type it, I'll copy it. Have you typed it? I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. Benjamin, okay. Benjamin. Okay. 
So which one? Which one? Okay, you know what? Let me let me check. Um, uh, this is all. This is posts. This is pages. Okay, pages. So which one? Which one of them? Which one, Mr. Benga? Hello. Which one? One on blue suit. Okay, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I advise you to go with this one since you already started something. The main thing is the post you'll be doing, you know. Mm, yeah. Okay. Good. Boy, well, you can create a new one too. Yeah, yeah. I have seen something you're doing. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. I like it. I love this. I love this. Yeah, but okay, you have written your number there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what, you, what, what you should do, right? The next one you will do, right? Uh, print this, write your number here, okay? okay. Then you uh -huh. scan it. When you scan it, then you upload it because you know when they come here, yeah. some of them might not have seen here. So so that mm -hmm. you have the number uh, sure. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. what you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's looks good. It's good. Yeah, you, you, you sure you can do it. I I, I like it. I like mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah, so do you have any other question? Any other question? Okay, no for now. No question. All right. Uh, uh, what about you, Mr. Ate? Do you have any question? Yeah, do you have any question, Mr. Abby? Uh, no, 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 no question. Okay, everything is understood, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so please, uh, please, uh, Mr. Abbe, I'll be expecting the contact list from you by by tomorrow. Is it possible? Mm, tomorrow. Okay. Let me. Maybe tomorrow or Tuesday, sure. Okay, tomorrow or Tuesday. Then, then we we'll start following tomorrow. up. Yeah, we we'll start following up with your contact. Okay. All right. So, uh, thank you so much for joining. In the okay. absence of questions, um, we're going to draw the curtain at this moment. Uh, okay. See you guys in the next meeting, and I wish you a great day. Bye bye. Bye for now. All right. Yeah.